play. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do I have an epic video for you guys today because everyone knows hunting season, it is, it has left the chat. Turkey season's right around the corner and I'm getting very excited for that. And just thinking about it, it makes me want to get in the woods. Now, as you guys know, I actually have a hog problem. Look at all the hogs in here, dude. About six full grown hogs. Like I'm talking like 100, 150 pound pigs. And then we have 12 piglets. I told you guys I was gonna end it. I was gonna kill them all before deer season was over. And then I went out west and that kinda, we, we just kinda stopped with that. We weren't, we, weren't, we weren't going after all the pigs. But the pigs, they are in there. And I'm telling you, there's over a dozen pigs coming to the stand every single day. I've kept the corn there, I've kept feeding them because uh, you know, the boys always, they wanna go shoot pigs. And I got a couple guys I've promised we'll go in there and light them up with AKs, ARs, shoot them with everything, light them all up, but they can't hunt until like later this week. So I'm gonna sneak in there and I'm gonna try to shoot one with a freaking bow. Now, as you guys know, I took bow hunting very serious this year. And it felt amazing hunting with a bow this year again because I haven't hunted with a bow uh, in four years maybe five years and especially not seriously but i bought this bow when i went and hunted with seek one out in georgia super sick setup it's actually one of the new elite bows and it's so smooth flair actually got the same bow about two days after i got that one he could he probably got it before me but he didn't post the youtube video of getting it until a day or two after i bought mine and uh it, it was kind of funny they really are amazing bows it's a great company elite Bro, send me a couple more bows, I love them. Now being it's been all season, since last deer season, I've shot my bow, it is definitely time to get it out and shoot it again before we just go, you know, stick a pig with an arrow. I got a target set up out there at 20 yards exactly from right where I'm standing. So let's go ahead and knock an arrow and let one fly. Oh, money, baby, money. Let's go take a look at this. 20 yards, first shot since last deer season. Bro, no, no freaking way. Promise you, I didn't come put this arrow in the target. Check that out. First shot in at least four months. I'm not even gonna shoot again. It'd probably be smart to shoot again, but uh, I'm gonna, you know, quit while I'm on top. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting everything kind of packed up and ready to roll. I've got most of my equipment ready. Now that I know the bow's on, the bow's accurate, we can go ahead, get everything loaded up, put it in the truck, and go kill a freaking pig, baby. Well, boys, we're actually right now currently picking up the cameraman for today. What's up, cameraman? What's up, Pilly? <laughs> I just got promoted. I'm taking Christian's job today, boys. <laughs> we're gonna have Julius run the camera as I smoke a piggy with the bow. I kind of wanted to self-film it, but it's one of those things. I wanted it to be high quality and good for you guys, so uh, we're gonna have him hold on to the DSLR while uh, we smoke a pig. These pigs have been in there every single night. You know, I just want to go in there and shoot one with a bow so bad. Just to say I have. I've never shot a pig up until this year year when they showed up on my property and I started trying to take them out. I've shot plenty now with guns, but uh, it's time to bring out the bow. I want to see what I can do. Oh, boys, we have finally made it to the deer club. Now, if you guys don't know what the deer club is, it's actually a clubhouse down here uh, at my hunting property. I actually got 750 acres leased. Super badass, great property for hunting. This past year, the hogs have just came out of nowhere and infested it. I thought I was going to be able to take care of the problem before deer season went out but it, we still have plenty of hogs to be shot. We got the Defender out here today. Everything's already loaded up, including old Jilly ass. We are gonna be taking the handguns. So just in case the whole shooting them with a bow thing doesn't quite go as planned, we can still, you know, sling some lead. Go ahead, crank this puppy up, throw her in gear, and let's go get in the stand. All right, boys, so we're on the way to the stand. I just checked the camera and they're under the feeder. Look at that, they're they're piled under the feeder as we speak. Come on, Defender, you gotta move faster than this, boy. Good sneak in there and try shooting with a bow from the ground or try shooting with the pistols from the ground. I don't know yet. Once we get there and park, I'll check the camera again and see if they're still there. We're getting live pictures of the hogs in there right now as we speak. They're already in there, bro. Oh my gosh, we should have got here earlier. So the last picture, uh, 433, it's 436. It looks like they're walking off. So they're in there. They're just waiting for that feeder to go off. So let's go ahead. We'll drive back in there. We'll sneak in there super quietly, get the pistols on and uh if they're in there hopefully we can get into this stand and uh wait for them to come back all right boys let's get suited up and uh try to kill a pig let's go ahead and get the pistol on because uh we might be walking in on these pigs so this is actually my deer pistol we load it up killed a lot of deer with this thing glock 40 10 millimeter has the long slide red dot 
super accurate, so much fun to hunt with. But this is what we're trying to kill a pig with today. Never shot a pig with a bow, I wanna get it done. I can kill a pig anytime with a pistol, but I wanna do it with the bow. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get my release on. Probably will shoot one with a handgun if we walk in on them. Just in case if I'm feeling frisky and they're looking stupid, smoke one with a bow, baby. Before we head in the stand, I'm checking the cameras. Yep, it's still the same pictures. Apparently they walked off, so we should be solid there. Let's just sneak in there, get in the stand as quietly as possible, get the camera set up. They're coming back. I'm really nervous we're gonna walk up on these pigs. Kinda scared they're gonna, they're walking towards us from the feeder and we're just gonna meet them halfway and the whole hunt's over because they're gonna bust us. As long as we just work it slow, walk in here quietly, should be solid. Once we get down here to the tree line though, that's where we really gotta be quiet and take it slow. They could be within 40 yards of us and let's not know. I thought I just heard a hog squeal. Let's take it super slow. Seen two of the big ones run off to the wind. I don't know if they seen us or smelled to us. The wind's not great for sneaking in here. They're still here. They're, they're coming back into the feeder. I see them, yeah. Yeah. I see two big ones. Yeah, two big black pigs. It's so open with no leaves on the trees. I mean, we're 100 yards from these pigs. If I had an AR, I could, I could get a shot off on one. We could try to work in slow and get a shot off at one. But if it doesn't work out, we blow the hunt. Just trying to sneak in real close. Work really slow and stand still like trees. They're downwind. Seeing that they are right in front of us. Downwind, they would have never known. They're going around the back side of the hill. They're gonna circle though. Bro, if they didn't, if they wouldn't have went down that wind, 20 yards with a bow could have came right to us. gonna shoot up the piglets with a bow. I wanted to kill two in one shot. Right, we right. could have a free-for-all with shotguns. Yeah. That's the problem. There was four pigs at the beginning of this year. Let's get the truth. Hey, they're coming. They're coming. Come here. Come here. You're right fucking there. Oh, shit. Stop, 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 stop. All right, you got the twist. Oh, shit. Oh my god! Shut, Shut the fuck up, pig! <laughs> Brighton, right there! There's three more running. Something tells me that can't be put on YouTube. Oh shit! <laughs> 
god damn! <laughs> it bounced, the arrow bounced off the, his head and skimmed into his back. I didn't want to make a gunshot, but the piglets are real dumb apparently. I hit the feeder thinking, oh, they'll know what that sound means and come running. They didn't come, so I was like, all right, let's get in the stand. And then here they are. And I'm like, Julius, get over by me. I can't shoot towards you. These pigs come in, bro. And they're like, what, 10 yards? I didn't think much of it, but I shot him for 20, and it skimmed the top of his head and then came into his back. It's gonna make a good cooking size from the ground. Yeah, stock, right? Stock piglet, baby. Right? Bro, those big pigs, they were coming right to us. Perfect shot with the bow at 20 yards. I was getting ready to draw back, and I could see that they smelt us, and then they just dipped. I don't know if they'll come back, but the piglets on this side, last we seen the big pigs are over here. The big pigs might come back through here looking for the piglets if they went far, far enough away to uh, not hear, hear what just, you know, took place thank you lord <laughs> sorry <laughs> thank you for the blessing it's gonna be a good eating pig dude come on that's one down as you guys seen we got a couple dozen to go this is ridiculous let's get up in the stand sit down collect ourselves and uh maybe some more pigs will come in i don't know all right boys we're getting settled in that was crazy bro i mean i guess we're just gonna sit here and see what happens but uh we've made it up in the stand got the feeder at 10 yards i came here the other day with one of my buddies moved the feeder closer because we had planned on coming in here and just spraying into the pigs right here at 10 yards with shotguns to try to kill as many as possible i wish we would have shot one of the big pigs if i would have brung a gun game over dude we got a pig down we're gonna sit here for the rest of the evening and uh, hope something happens. It's a beautiful spot. The pigs have absolutely ruined it for deer hunting though. The goal is take as many pigs out as possible and uh, see how many we can rack up with a bow. All right, boys, we have finally got settled into the stand. And now we're really just waiting on more piggies to show up. That was not necessarily textbook, but I'm just cracking up at myself because I had the idea, oh, hit the feeder timer. They're gonna come right in and we're gonna shoot them at five yards. But, uh, then we started walking back and uh, they caught Julius because Julius was like, stop, 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 they're coming. And so I got down, Julius got down, well, Julius is sitting where they're coming. So I was like, get over here, get over here. And they spotted them, but they still kind of kept on. They still, they didn't know what they seen. Pigs don't have that great of eyesight. So Julius got over to me and they came in and they stopped. Well, the two biggest pigs were facing me. So I said, all right then, I'm gonna stick them between the eyes. You know, it was like 15 yards, shot with my 20 yard pin. They, it bounced off the top of his head, and, but dug down and ran down his back and stuck into him. Not the cleanest. I kind of feel a little bad, but you know, he was dead dead within 18 seconds. And these pigs, they're so bad. I know a lot of people around here, when they do get pigs, they'll be deer hunting with their bows. They'll just gut shoot them, you know? Just, you know, gut shoot them, let them run off. And uh, they're, they're literally a nuisance. So we gotta kill as many as we can. That pig is a great eating size pig. Go on us, clean them, throw them in the fridge, and uh, hopefully find a big smoker and smoke the pig hole. The big pigs, last we seen them went that way. The piglets went that way. So we're kinda, I'm kinda thinking they're gonna work back in here. So we're gonna go ahead, hold off, wait, and, wait here, and uh, hopefully, hopefully smoke another. We got something going on down here. I don't know if it's a squirrel, a deer, or a pig. You'll be surprised, squirrels can sound big. It's hopping like a squirrel. You can hear how it's prancing around like a squirrel. I mean, is it squirrel season? No, big pig. Big, big pig? Big, big fucking pig. Big pig. Oh my god. Yeah, I see him. Big pig, giant pig. Oh shit. He's gonna smell that pig under us. What's up, bud? Broke my air. Watch him. Get on him. Stay on him. He's gone. I can't see him because of the trees. Slow down. Fall. Fall over. That was a big fucking pig, bro. God damn right it was. <laughs> that pig was huge. That was a big so big. Holy shit, that pig was giant. He broke my air when he went by those trees. He didn't bleed much, but I mean. You stuck him good. Yeah, no, he's stuck in the ribs good. Definitely going to have to let that pig you know, kind of take its torse and kind of let him do his thing and fall over. I lost sight of him. He ran a good 120 yards though. Yeah, bro, he was moving. He was moving. I watched him. I mean, hell, I stuck him right there, baby. Let's yeah, go. dude, that was great. Number two with the bow. I got one arrow left. I didn't hear him crash, but uh, bro, 20 yards, smoked him. We've been in the stand, what? Not even, not even 
not even 10 minutes, baby. Bro, and he was alone. So we still have great odds. Yeah, bro, means, we have great odds to shoot you more. Got, you can shoot another big one. Yes. I mean, I watched him run for a long ways. You know, that shot was on a deer. Perfect. But it, I don't think it was a pass through. That's my only concern. But that pig was giant, son. Bro, I was worried about him coming down through here towards the feeder and seeing that pig and spooking off. Yeah, right. So I just went ahead and was like, all right, bro, you're done. Shot him right there. That might be a hard blood track because I didn't see much blood come out of him, but uh, it's a dead pig. That's a two and a half inch freaking cut. Yeah, he broke my arrow off running by a tree. I can't freaking believe how many arrows I've went through this season. Two or three deer break my arrows and now a hog. It's freaking ridiculous. Two with a bow within like 15 minutes. Let's keep sitting and uh, yes baby. So me and Julius were looking at this arrow that flung out of the pig back at us when it hit that limb and uh, it looks really long. Like I didn't get much penetration at all. So we're sending Julius down there to grab it. That's bad. That arrow's pretty long. We didn't get much penetration. Oh shit. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's five inches four and a half i don't know if it i hit shoulder but those ribs are still huge you know i'm new to this whole hog hunting thing and one thing about hogs bro is they got what they call a shield kind of around their chest to protect them because their tusk whenever they fight they cut well you know these the tusk can cut three inches and so these shields they're thick i mean thick son we didn't get much penetration at all boys i am pretty worried we're not talking about a whole lot of penetration i mean we're talking about five inches julius said something that that you know a lot of men live by and three inches is hell at 90 mile an hour so just hope it got the job done considering i shot him up higher up blood is going to be very minimal so i was like fall over fall over i didn't want to blood track him because i knew we weren't getting much blood with that shot next pig i'll shoot with the bow i shoot him a little lower and right behind the shoulder hopefully we get better penetration well boys i just played that footage back and with the little amount of penetration shot placement was you no know, just high it was closer than i thought shot for 20 is at like 15 but shouldn't it doesn't change it much but was high i want to go ahead i want to get down and go to the top of this hill where we last seen this pig and see if he's dead down there once dark comes i know we're not gonna have much blood i want to go ahead and see if we can't go to the top of the hill and spot him and know that he's down been about 30 minutes just walk over there and see what see what happened I hope we have a dead pig. I'm shooting 70 pounds. This bow's shooting hella fast, but it's a lighter arrow. And that's my only concern. That's why I, don't, I think I didn't get great penetration. But even in Illinois, when I shot that 250 pound deer, I had a clean pass through. These hogs are super tough. Let's just kind of walk over here and see what we're looking at. He was standing right here. I can see where he ran, but I don't see blood. Look at the clear trail of where he ran. I mean, we got no blood, but I mean, you can just follow where he's been. There's blood. Right. Yep. So, thank God, good red blood. See where he ran down the hill. More right down there. I'm hoping when we crease this hill, there'll be a dead pig. We've been 100 yards already. Found those two spots of blood. Pigs, bro, they are so tough. I shot one with a 223 in the face. Fell, hit the ground, got up, never found him. When he got to this hilltop, he stopped, and I watched him stop. He stopped like that, and I was hoping he'd just, you know, walk 10 more yards and laid over and died. I was hoping he'd be laying right here. Let's go back up there to the last blood. Try to blood trail him. So I went off exploring while Julius followed up the blood trail. Julius, you made it another 100 yards. Oh yeah. And we got pretty good blood right now. Blood, good enough we can follow. There's blood right here. Blood trail's not the best, but I'm definitely glad we're doing this in the daylight and not at night. This would have been hard at night. Got blood right here. We're just going and marking every spot of blood we can find and continuing to work since julius is doing so good on the blood trail i'm gonna have him keep on this i'm gonna circle this this hilltop real quick and just look down these valleys see if we can't find a dead pig i don't know if it's just because it's a pig but he's running down here to this creek bottom which is great and dying animals normally run to creek bottoms hey there's the bit there's our rocky hill climb that's where we ride oh dirt no bikes. way yeah, he's still bleeding look at the blood on the tree right here this is an old road bed he could have went right could have went left he could have went down into the water took a bath i don't know right there right 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 here right in front of my toe fucking line of it bro he's gone a long ways i'm kind of getting worried the blood has definitely picked up we're moving quick if he's not down on this bottom who knows how long we're gonna be tracking him for yeah right we've so, already, uh, bro we've, we're probably we've covered a lot of ground oh my god first ever pig with a bow <laughs> hey, I'm moving though, son. I think he spotted me. Those drops right there. So one thing when you're blood tracking, this ain't a great example, but you see how the blood, it hit and it's pushed this way? That means he's moving this way with some speed. It's almost giving you an arrow of what direction he's moving. He's bleeding he... not great, but we're following it. Boys, we uh, 
we've been on a wild goose chase. We tracked that pig for 250 yards. It got down to this point where it was bottlenecked, man. He only had one way he could go. And you know, we got down on our hands and knees and we're following and he's shooting right up this bottleneck. And then you can walk up this bottleneck for 200 yards and see everything around because it's so enclosed. So I figured, all right, I've already walked up there. I'm gonna I'm get on my hands and knees and follow this pig. He's gonna cut right, cut left, go up some extreme hill or go down in the creek and we're gonna figure out he went this way and he's gonna be laying right there. Stop bleeding. We followed where all the pig sign was from that point forward. I mean, we had pig sign everywhere we went. Like, check this out. Check out this mud wall from all these freaking pigs, man. I mean, we got more pigs than we can count. That pig went over 250 yards. I thought it was a good shot. If that arrow would have went all the way through, I think we would have found them because we'd had more blood. Apparently, I didn't hit nothing too important. I've, I've shot a deer and only hit one lung and these went 750 yards. You know, I'm not, I'm not being on my knees all night for another 800 yards. He gone. First big pig with a bow. I'm just saying, I shot my first pig ever with a bow today. 10 yards on the ground, pretty dope. Head shot, ricocheted off his head and, you know, scalped his ass, but we uh, humanely put that pig down. <laughs> this pig, you know, to me was a great shot. I felt perfect. From the angle we're shooting, so he was only at 15, 16 yards and we're shooting up down. So hitting high, you know, on a normal situation where you get a pass through, I mean, that arrow would have been mid range or lower is what it is, boys. I'm gonna check the cell cam and uh, we're gonna run back to uh, the feeder and hopefully there's some hogs there. I sent Julius to get the defender. I'm sitting in the stand. I'm so disappointed. On camera, it looked like a fine shot. I was worried about penetration. It's been my first ever pig with, um, I killed my first ever pig with a bow. I don't wanna hear it. 10 yards from the ground. It's just a piglet. I think I learned my lesson. I'm done with these lightweight arrows that the air, that the bow shot put me on. Need bigger arrows with better penetration. Here comes old Julius and the Defender. We're packing up and getting out of here. We're gonna go ahead, get everything loaded up. Well, boys, I mean, I really thought I smoked that damn pig. Came back, Julius ran, got the Defender while I was waiting around for more more pigs to show up. My first ever pig with a, uh, with a bow. The one that was, I don't know, 15 times this one size. 15 yards, stuck them right. I mean, it felt, it felt right, it felt perfect, I guess not not enough penetration definitely gonna start shooting heavier arrows lesson learned killed a pig with a bow so let's just uh stick to guns it was such a great story but hopefully the video did it justice because it was amazing there was enough of those pigs to fill up this whole bed so sick first ever midget pig aka a piglet we're gonna load up we're gonna head to kyle's house julius 1v1 bro you're getting you're getting the you're clap. getting clap, boy bro, we got a great no. hog to cook on a barbecue you know smoke a whole piglet just head back and we'll pick you guys up at kyle's ladies and gentlemen we have uh we've made it over to kyle's we gotta play our pool game but i'm gonna show all the boys the uh the hog first so i didn't get the big hog i couldn't find the big hog but we got the small one. Oh my god what are you doing back here brain <laughs> <laughs> bro i shot him <laughs> square in the head and it went went back and oh. literally scalped his ass. We had to put him out. Ain't that right, Julius? Oh yeah. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab some pictures for the thumbnail and whatnot, and I'll pick you guys up and we'll go in there and we'll, uh, Julius, I'm gonna get waxed, buddy. Nah, bro. I'm gonna wax you in pool, bro. You're getting it, bro, I'm telling you. Who's gonna win? Put it in the Probably comments. Me, Julius, you ready to get your ass waxed? Oh yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah? Big talk for <laughs> Oh yeah? Funny. The shot, he takes the hit. Oh! Long shot. He lines up the shot and he misses. Pop it! No. Oh. No, no! And he makes it. Oh, it's going right in. Pick up like a boss. No. That was not in your favor. Julius hits the ball and it does not go anywhere except. Right back where it fucking was. God damn it. Oh! oh shit. <laughs> That's great. All right, we'll run it. We'll run it back. Run it back. Oh, okay. well, shot. Yeah. One win on you. One win on me. Wait, no, that's two wins on me. Yeah, I'll scratch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and like and subscribe. Julius, bro, I beat you twice in pool. Oh, shut up. I, th I think we need a rematch, buddy. We definitely weren't playing our best, so uh, we didn't really film it much. We're definitely going to be going back and hunting some more for those pigs. They came back last night, but I'm waiting for them to come back tonight just to reassure that they're going to be there tomorrow night and go hunt them again. What do you guys want to see me shoot a pig with next? I may have ordered some spears. I really want to spear a pig. That'll be sick. But if you guys have any video ideas to do with hogs, I mean air guns, 50 BMG, spears, Julius lasso a hog. Remember when we were talking the other night and I asked if you could lasso a hog? Yeah. Still think you can do it? All day. 
All day? All day? Maybe we gotta have old Cowboy Julius lasso one and us wrestle him to the ground. We could even trap him. Guys, put it down in the comments. What do you guys want to see us do? I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a hard video to watch. It was an amazing hunt. So much fun. But I feel like video-wise, it was very chaotic. So if you guys enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button, like, subscribe. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Yeah, yeah.